Global anti-corruption watchdog Transparency International says Nigeria's war on corruption is slowing down, indicating that the scourge is even getting worse. What does this mean for the Buhari government? From our press, former independent national electoral boss, Professor Atairu Jega says politicians are the stumbling blocks to Nigeria's democracy. What are his reasons? And thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Shion Joaquin Balue in Abuja, the nation's capital, where President Muhammadu Buhari has met with members of the Council of State at the presidential villa Abuja. The council is made up of former presidents and heads of state, the vice president, governors of the 36 states, or former chief justices, the Senate president, speaker of the House of Representatives, and Attorney General of the Federation. This is the third time President Buhari will be hosting the meeting of the council since he assumed office in 2015. Some of the former leaders in attendance are former President Lucia Gwobasanjo, former military heads of state, Abdul Salami Abubakar, and General Yakubu Gawan. President Buhari's anti-corruption war seems to have suffered a setback. With the latest report released by a global anti-corruption watchdog indicating that a scourge is getting even worse. Transparency International's latest global corruption perception index ranks Nigeria 140 out of 180 countries surveyed. This shows a significant drop of 12 places compared to the country's rating of 136th position in 2016. However, the report also points out that a problem of corruption is a general trend across the world. As this uh, report is concerned in the fight against corruption. In the update of the CPI, Nigeria ranks 148 out of 180 countries assessed in 2017 on the perception of the state of corruption in the country. Out of 100 points, signaling maximum transparency and no corruption, Nigeria scored 27 points. This results show a slight deterioration in the scoring of the perception about corruption in public administration compared to 2016. In 2016, Nigeria scored 28 points and ranked 136 in the ranking of countries. Nigeria slipped by 12 points. This shows that as the rest of the world has improved in the perception of corruption, Nigeria slips further down as the fight against corruption stagnates. On the African continent, Nigeria ranks 32 position in Africa out of 52 assessed countries in 2017. In West Africa, Nigeria is the second worst out of countries, leaving only Guinea-Bissau behind. Well, we'll discuss that in a moment on the program. Well, the, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, says the latest report by Transparency International showing that corruption has worsened under the President Mohamed Buhari-led administration has vindicated its stand that the current APC-led government is inherently and overtly corrupt. We come to that in a moment. To another story, you have heard so much about Thought Force and probably wondering how they intend to play their great game, especially with 2019 elections in sight. Well, the Nigerian Intervention Movement, and I am a pro-democracy movement and pressure group of like-minded Nigerians said they are kicking off an enlightenment campaign on voter registration in helping Nigeria make an informed decisions about the next set of leaders. NIM is launching a nationwide operation of helping voters to register. We shall be to that effect launching a help desk that is aimed at informing people 
providing support, providing guidance about voters' registration. The event is flagged off. It's going to be across the country. We're starting it in the southwest of Nigeria, and we're starting it in Lagos. The whole idea of NIM is to reorientate our political practitioners to get people to understand that there are very real issues that ordinary Nigerians are grappling with on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is why the whole idea of NIM is issue-based. Everything about NIMS, NIM is issue-based. So we find the issues, we identify them, and then we discuss them. We look for ways to actualize solutions, workable solutions, not pie-in-the-sky schemes. We're looking at solutions that can actually work and that are within our immediate reach. Well then, as the 2019 elections approach, rise activists and election observers are already campaigning for a good election. At one of the fora organized by a civil society group called Youth Initiative for Advocacy Growth and Advancement, Yaga, in Abuja, the nation's capital, a former INET chair, Professor Atairu Jega, says politicians' attitude and do or die behaviors are a big threat to Nigeria's democracy. Professor Jega was speaking at a Watching the Vote event in Abuja where discussions take on the issues of threat to Nigeria's democracy. I can tell you one of the big threats that we face, and I've said it consistently, is the recklessness of our politicians to undermine electoral integrity. And, uh, and uh, the Electoral Commission may do a few things to keep ahead of them, and they will try to do several things to now overtake and be ahead of the Electoral Commission because electoral integrity is not in the interest of those who want to win election by do or die mentality or mindset. You know? And why do they win, want to win elections with that mindset and mentality? It's simple, so that they can continue with the recklessness of vandalizing uh, uh, state resources and uh, obviously uh, uh, impugning on the fundamental rights of people and undermining the processes of development that can provide human security. So it's very, very important. We must examine this threat by our own politicians. 